large part of that is health care, which I bet's the next question. <laughs> Can you get your thoughts on the ongoing health care reform debate and your support for a strong public option? I do have a support a strong public option. Uh, one of the things that we talk about is, you know, 14,000 people lose their health insurance every day because they've lost their job. COBRA is expensive, uh, and it's the only option for most people. The stimulus package did pick up 65% of the cost of COBRA for the recently unemployed, but there's still a lot of other people that are on it. With this health care bill, uh, there will be first a, sort of a marketplace where either individuals or small business or whoever wants to can go looking through a list of options and choose the health plan that is better for them and that meets both their pocketbook and their health requirements. It is critically important that we have that. The public option is important as well uh, for a lot of people who are chronically ill uh, and what it does, frankly, the backbone of it is it helps us to create the competition that we believe that we have to have against the other health insurers to get those costs down because they have grown so tremendously that they're eating up the gross national product of the United States and we cannot continue to do what we do. But let me make the most important statement I'm going to make to you about the House health care bill. We passed legislation called PAYGO, pay as you go, which we first did in 91. Uh, when we had great economic disasters. It brought us into the best booming economy we'd ever had. The pur purpose of it is we divided the government payrolls or the, uh, the budget into three parts. Uh, inside any one of those three parts, a new program had to be compensated for by killing one in that area uh, and finding new money. Now, we do have emergency projects and we have processes uh, by which we're suddenly attacked or something that we, we can forego that. But it is required of us that this bill be budget neutral, that it not add to the deficit. And if you think that's not important, let me tell you that the bill passed in 2003 at 3 a.m. in the morning, which brought us the donut hole, uh, cost $500 billion and not a cent was paid for. That went on to the deficit. The war, both of them, uh, are on the deficit. This year, we have put it on budget. So what we're doing in our own budgets is we pay as you go to try to get rid of this debt, which is our first big uh, uh, big project and the biggest problem we have to attack. Congresswoman, can you support health care reform that does not include a public option? I I want to see what it, what it is first. I, first, let me tell you, we have to pass something. It has to be done. Uh, that Teddy Roosevelt tried to pass health care. I don't know if you know that or not. Uh, probably Abraham Lincoln did for all I know, but <laughs> everybody else did. This is the, uh, not only the best chance we had, this is necessity. We will not get the financial situation in the United States straightened out as long as every year prices are going up on health care. Now, people seem to be terrified of the government, but I should tell you that 40% of all the persons receiving health care in the United States are on a government plan. 40%, either through Medicare, Medicaid, Veterans Administration, or the Indian Health Service. We're not hearing a lot of complaints out there from any of them. Uh, and I, I think what we need to do here is introduce competition. But I, it's always been my contention in the first place that I don't think that our corporations and the global economy should be saddled with health care. And had we been able to do a universal health care system, and you lifted that burden off them, I think the economy would grow much faster. But the time is simply not right for that. Congressman, what about the um, end of life debate for the health care reform? It's a, the worst stupidity. I, I am ashamed that Americans, even for a second, would allow it to flit across their brain cells that their government was going to kill people. <laughs> I, I, I really cannot talk sensibly about that because there's simply nothing sensible to say about it. It's not there. Congressman Ray, support of Representative Moss's efforts uh, with the Progressive Democratic Caucus to, there are 60 uh, representatives which are saying they won't support a bill uh, that doesn't include a strong public option. Are you well, I think what Moss is saying is that he will not support a bill other than um, for a single payer. At least that's what I've, I've heard him say. Well, he, he said he would prefer uh, 676, which is the, the single payer. There will be a vote on 676. And what is your intent for that bill? Do you support that bill? 
Yes, I'd be happy to vote for that, but I, I don't think, uh, you know, I would, that's, I just got through saying that. If we could lift that burden of providing health care from employers, I think that we would see more innovation. Uh, sometimes I worry that America will never try to do anything big again. Uh, I would certainly hate to think I was going to try to do Social Security. And, 